My name is Tim Kenningham. I am the National Sales and Product Manager for Forest River Berkshire Diesel Motorhomes. Today, we're going to be talking about the brand new 2021 Berkshire XLT 45A floor plan. This floor plan is going to consist of a two full bath bunkhouse slash oversized wardrobe. So it's a great family coach having the bunkhouse and then also having that two full bathroom features. Well, let's start on the outside here on the front cap. Uh, new for 2021, you're going to see a brand new uh, front cap as long as as well as a rear cap. Um, so now we're going to go with a little bit more of the stackable headlights look. Uh, great LED headlights as well too. Very good for, for the dark nights and whatnot as you travel. Uh, very bright. As you can see too, we have a little bit of a, a Berkshire lit logo here. Uh, you're also going to now have these nice new windshield wiper systems. It's more of a, a butterfly system, so it's really going to get good high coverage in there as well. You're also going to now have this mobile eye camera system that's going to be kind of lane awareness, certainly going to help for the safety of it. It's also going to tie right into the new digital dash from Freightliner as well, so very good for the hands-free driving. Uh, standard still too, you're going to have the nice 10K generator on its slide-out tray. Good for ease of access, maintenance. You want to clean your windshield wipers or windshield in general, you can certainly stand up on it. Coming around to the side, again, you're still going to see our, our typical bus style mirrors. Your cameras are going to be in the mirrors there. Uh, so it's good for the blind spot awareness pops up on that center screen. You have your nice door on in here. A nice awning for your nice big 30 inch entryway. So it's a little bit wider. It's easy to get in and out of the unit overall. Uh, our convenience package went standard, so now you're going to have the standard keyless entry here. Uh, with that as well too, you're going to get a 100-watt one, solar panel, um, an amplifier for your, for your dash radio in there as well, and then a Wi-Fi extender. Uh, coming around to the side too, you're going to see the nice 315 tires uh, on the front, built on this nice 450 Freightliner chassis with the L9, 1,250 pounds of uh, torque. You're going to have your exterior freezer option. It comes out on a nice slide tray. Now you're starting to get into your main cargo capacity here. So you're going to have one of your first throw uh, pull pass through storage bays. And then you're going to get your nice slide tray over here as well too that will go on either side. As you can see here, you have a nice exterior entertainment center, nice size TV, uh, your sound bar system out here for your campsite. And as you can see too, you have this nice awning that's really going to do a good job of really hugging your campsite. Uh, gives you good protection. It is motion censored, so if it is a windy day, it would go back in if you weren't by it. Back into here is you're gonna see uh, the Dirt Devil. So you're gonna have uh, the, the Dirt Devil system for, for cleaning. And then you're gonna have your 400D Aquahot system. So again, this is gonna be an all electric coach running off that LP or off of just uh, the Aquahot system. As you get into the rear now too, is you're going to see our nice 295 rear tires. So again, plenty of capacity. This being a Freightliner chassis, it is going to have the ultra steer, steerable tag. So it is going to turn with you, really helps reduce um, that curb to curb turning radius for you. You're going to have your remote def fill system. So you're going to have a 15 gallon def tank on your passenger side, but it is fillable on your driver's side. Uh, you're getting back into your controls and breakers back here, along with your two 12 volt chassis batteries that you have with a, a nice disconnect switch back here as well for you. As you can see too, to go along with our new front cap, we have a nice new rear cap that's gonna be on the Berkshire XLT for 2021.5. Um, as you're gonna be able to see, it's gonna have a little bit more of a stackable headlight or tail light look here. You're still gonna have your camera uh, right there in the rear as well too for your backup camera. Um, as you can see too, the nice thing about the XLT uh, on the Freightliner chassis is it's going to be a side radiator. So you have full access right here to your engine uh, as long as as well with your 15,000 pound towing capacity uh, that you get with the tag axle. Coming around to side, you're going to be able to see then again here too, just obviously your, your side radiator, your air intake here. Uh, you're going to have your nice bunk slide over here as you can see. Again, your 295 rear tires. Uh, this has really been a bread and butter piece for the Berkshire product for years. Uh, it's an individual water manifold system, so you're going to have point-to-point -point connection for plumbing. Especially being a two-full bathroom unit, it's great for pressure issues. You're not having to fight um, the, the pressure there. But again, if you ever needed to, you could shut off water to one shower um, and still have full access for the rest of your unit. Uh, you're going to have a nice control panel that's going to be on the inside here of the door. 
that's going to allow you to be able to uh, check your tank levels and whatnot so you're not having to run back and forth inside of the coach as well. So a great, great feature that you typically don't find until you get into, uh, you know, million dollar motorhomes. In this compartment, you're going to have your power cord reel. That's a standard feature for it. Over here, you're going to have the reverse side on the driver's side of your slide out tray. Again, more storage up into here. You see, those are nice slam latch doors too. They're very solid and rigid. So also new for 2021.5, uh, we have six house batteries, six, six volt instead of four. There's a disconnect switch that's in there as well. And then now you're gonna have your uh, pump for your hydraulic system with equalizer. That'll control your hydraulic front living room slides and also your hydraulic jacks. Again, dual fill capabilities, 150 gallon fuel tank on the Berkshire XLT. This compartment is really just going to be your electrical controls, fuses for your Freightliner system. You do have an air truck here, the tow vehicle, and then you have your generator release pull there for that kick out generator on the front. As you come into nice 30 inch entryway here, again, it's gonna be very wide. You have multiple new grab handles on both sides. So accessibility in and out is very safe and, and sturdy. Uh, one thing that you're gonna notice as you come in as well too, is we added this awesome passenger workstation. Um, it is three piece removable. You can remove the top, the arm swings over, or you could remove it all together. But again, as you travel, you want to be uh, again, like you're at your house. So again, that's a nice new feature coming over here. Obviously again, it's tied into this new Freightliner digital dash that you're going to have with OptiView. Again, that's where your mobilized system is going to come through. You're also going to have TPMS now for 2021.5 and XLT. Um, you're also going to have again over here, your equalizer controls. There's a wireless cell phone charger for you. Again, a lot of hands-free drivability here that ties into the radio for turning on and off, uh, you know, calls and things like that with the radio controls. Uh, you're gonna have the co-pilot navigation system on this big 10-inch radio here. Again, great uh, functionality, ergonomics, and accessibility to all your, your gauges and controls. Coming back, you're gonna see that we have this strap-down bed. This is a standard feature for us. Uh, again, it's nice because you're going to get that extra sleeping, but being six feet tall, you have plenty of clearance for it as well. Coming back into here, you're going to see your nice large residential French door refrigerator. You have a nice large pantry over here. Easily in and out. You're going to have your induction cooktop. Again, it's an all electric coach. Uh, your convection microwave. A nice large residential farmhouse sink. Very deep, very wide. There is some nice add-on options that we put a sticker for in there that you could purchase afterwards. Um, plenty of drawers, uh, waste paper basket, plenty of cabinet space again up here as well. So very functional, very practical. Um, kind of still staying on this side into the front living room because of its segment or how it is segmented. Uh, you have a nice oversized booth. Again, there's plenty of good storage in the booth down below that you have on either side. You have nice deep cabinetry up here as well all the way across. It's nice soft close drawer uh, glides there as well. Coming over here then, you're gonna have uh, plenty of storage again behind the TV. There's a nice safe. You have a bottle rack up there in the corner as well, but again, just a little hidden space. You have a nice Bose soundbar system here. This is gonna be the control setup for um, your TVs, your satellite and DVD player and things like that. Nice fireplace. Uh, this is configured right now to have the sleeper sofa here. So this will be a nice air mattress, hide to bed sofa. As you can see, this is now all featuring our, our executive dark cabinetry, white diamond package. Um, very nice, new, elegant floor. Again, it's a heated floor system throughout the unit as well. Coming back into the hallway, you're going to have your control panel here. That's where you're going to be able to put in and out your slide outs, your lights, your AC controls, your power controls. You can do the majority of those controls again from your phone as well. Getting into the first uh, full half bathroom. Again, very spacious. You have a full shower for your guests or traveling with kids. A nice wooden bench in there as well. Uh, now you're into the bunkhouse area. Again, this is a great little functional area. You have TVs for each, each bunk. Uh, this top bunk can't flip up. So you do have uh, an oversized wardrobe rack in there if necessary. So again, it's a multi-use functional space that you typically don't find. 
Um, again, accommodating for the travel needs that you need. Getting into the back bedroom, again, you're gonna have an abundant amount of storage. Uh, this storage is actually gonna go all the way across. So you have plenty of room for weeks, months, travel. Plenty of drawers down here as well. Nice ceiling fan here in the bedroom. A king size bed as well too. All the power controls are going to be underneath this bed as well, so easily accessible for the multiplex or, or your fuses. Getting into the back bathroom, this is again one of the greatest features about it. You have plenty of vanity mirrors, double bowl sinks. You know, you can stand two at a time up here. There's plenty of room for it. Um, you have your stackable washer and dryer here. And then you have your, your second shower here in the back as well. So again, it's a very large rear bathroom, considering you have a two full bath bunkhouse, so you can sleep up to nine, uh, comfortably seat everybody as well as you go down the road, but it's very well segmented for, for everybody to have their own individual space as well.